Hey everybody, Mr. White here. Going to run through a few acceleration calculation problems just to show you how to solve for the unknown. Um, so we're going to look at the handout that you guys had recently for acceleration graphing and calculation practice. Um, so we're going to look at question number one. Uh, so a semi-truck accelerates from rest to 36 meters per second in just 12 seconds. What is its, its, its acceleration? Um, so that right there tells us that our unknown is acceleration. So for our guess method, our u, our unknown, I'm going to put a is our unknown. So we have that the truck accelerates from rest to 36 meters per second. So that tells us that its initial velocity is equal to 0 meters per second because at rest means it's not moving. Our final velocity is 36 meters per second and our time is 12 seconds. And you want to make sure to include all units because you can do the math not on just the numbers but the units too and that really helps you check your work. So our equation that we're using is actually listed here at the top. It's going to be acceleration is equal to your final velocity minus your initial velocity all over time. So we're going to substitute our values, our knowns, into this formula. So we don't know A, but we do know V final. So that's 36 meters per second. That is minus 0 meters per second all over 12 seconds. And so we're going to go ahead and solve for that. And this one is a little more straightforward because our unknown is already isolated on the left, our A, our acceleration, that's isolated. Um, so we just really need to simplify this. So we end up with A equals 36 meters over seconds um, minus zero is just going to be 36 meters per second. And that is all over 12 seconds, but we can use the reciprocal and just say that that is the same as multiplying by 1 over 12 seconds. And so when we simplify even further, we multiply the numerator, 36 meters times 1 is 36 meters, and that is over seconds times 12 seconds, so we get 12 seconds squared. And then of course we can simplify this fraction down to 3 over 1 which gives us an answer of 3 meters per second squared. Let's take a look at another one that isn't so straightforward. So number 7 says an object is moving at 10 meters per second. The object then accelerates at 3 meters per second squared and is now traveling at 31 meters per second. How long did the object take to accelerate up to 31 meters per second? So again, let's look for some clues. So the question is asking how long did the object take to accelerate up to 31 meters per second? So that is our clue as to what they are asking for. How long did it take? That's a time. So our unknown is going to be time. Now what information were we given? We were given that the object is moving at 10 meters per second and then it accelerates at 3 meters per second squared and it now ends up traveling at 31 meters per second. So it starts by moving at 10 meters per second, so that is our V initial, our initial velocity of 10 meters per second. So it's moving at 10 meters per second, it then accelerates, so we have a rate of acceleration, um, A is equal to 3 meters per second squared. And it's now traveling at 31, so our V final is 31 meters per second. And again, they want to know how long it took to get from 10 meters per second, which is our initial velocity, to our final velocity of 31 meters per second, if it's accelerating at 3 meters per second squared. And again, 3 meters per second squared means that every second the object is changing its velocity by 3 meters per second. So 3 meters per second squared is the same as saying 3 meters per second per second. So for every second that goes by, the object changes its velocity by 3 meters per second. All right, so using our formula, A equals V final minus V initial all over T, we're going to plug in what we know. So we know that A is equal to 
three meters per second. I like to write them as a fraction when I'm doing the actual math because it makes it easier to cancel out units. So A is equal to three meters per second squared, and that's going to be equal to 31 meters per second, that's V final, minus 10 meters per second, V initial, and all of that is over our unknown T. So we need to get T by itself because T is our unknown. We want to know what T is equal to. So to get it by itself, I'm going to start by multiplying both sides by T. And you might have different ways of isolating variables. You know, when it comes to the algebra, what you're comfortable with is okay with me. Um, so I'm going to multiply both sides by T. And that means I can do some canceling. So I can cancel this T and that T. And that will leave me with... 3 meters per second squared times t is equal to 31 meters per second minus 10 meters per second. And so I can simplify that even further and say 31 minus 10 gives me 21 meters per second. And again, I need to isolate T. So I need to get that three meters per second squared out of there. And the way I can do that is multiplying both sides by the reciprocal of three meters per second squared. So I'm gonna say second squared over three meters and second squared over three meters. So I'll move my work up here, but I'm gonna go ahead and cancel that. And then I can do some canceling on the right side as well. I can actually cancel the meters out. Okay, and I can cancel this seconds, which then allows me to get rid of one of those seconds. So I am left with T equals 21 seconds over three. And when I simplify that down even further, I can simplify this fraction down to 7 over 1, which gives me 7 seconds. And that allows me to kind of check my work because I'm left with 7 seconds. Seconds is a unit of time. My unknown is time. That's what I'm solving for. And so I can see that I did the math correctly since I'm using the correct units and end up with the correct units. So basically what this is saying is that the object uh, accelerated at 3 meters per second squared from 10 meters per second to 31 meters per second, and it took it seven seconds to do that. So if we wanna check our work, we can say, okay, seven seconds, um, if it's accelerating at three meters per second squared, that means every second it changes, it increases its velocity by three meters per second. Well, if I have seven seconds and each second shows an increase of three, well, over seven seconds, I should see an increase of 21 meters per second and to get from 10 to 31 meters per second, I have to increase my velocity by 21 meters per second. So seven seconds is the correct answer. Uh, if you have any further questions, please make sure you ask me uh, either email or Google Classroom or in class. And I hope this helps. Have a good one.